August 6th, 1945, marked a turning point in human history. On that fateful day, the world witnessed the first use of atomic weapons in warfare when the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima, Japan, followed by another on Nagasaki on August 9th. These devastating events not only brought World War II to a swift conclusion, but also left an indelible mark on the global psyche. The psychological effects of the atomic bombings were profound and far-reaching, touching the lives of survivors, shaping international politics and forever altering humanity's perception of the destructive power at its disposal. The immediate aftermath of the atomic bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki was characterized by unimaginable devastation. Entire city blocks were reduced to rubble, and an estimated 140,000 people died in the immediate aftermath, with thousands more suffering severe injuries. The survivors, known as Hibakusha, were not only physically scarred, but psychologically traumatized as well. Witnessing the horror of the atomic explosion, the instantaneous loss of loved ones, and the overwhelming destruction of their cities left a profound imprint on these survivors. The Hibakusha's trauma manifested in various ways, including survivor's guilt, post-traumatic stress disorder, and survivor syndrome. Many felt overwhelming guilt for having survived when their friends and family perished. The constant reminders of the bombings, including physical scars and radiation-related illnesses, added to their emotional suffering. Additionally, survivors were often stigmatized and faced discrimination, exacerbating their distress. The psychological trauma experienced by Hibakusha persisted long after the immediate aftermath. Survivors faced a lifetime of physical and emotional challenges, including a higher risk of cancer and other radiation-related illnesses. The mental health impact extended to subsequent generations as well, with children of survivors also experiencing emotional distress due to their parents' trauma. The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki marked the beginning of the nuclear age, a period defined by the constant threat of global annihilation. The realization that humanity had developed the means to obliterate itself had profound implications. The bombings led to widespread fear and anxiety, not only among the citizens of Japan, but also around the world. People everywhere grappled with the uncertainty of living in a world where nuclear weapons existed. The concept of mutually assured destruction emerged, in which the superpowers of the United States and the Soviet Union possessed enough nuclear firepower to annihilate each other. This led to a constant undercurrent of fear that any conflict could escalate into a catastrophic global nuclear war. The aftermath of World War II saw the emergence of the Cold War, a period of intense political and ideological rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. The nuclear arms race that ensued heightened global tensions and exacerbated nuclear paranoia. People in both East and West lived with the constant fear of a potential nuclear conflict. The Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962 brought the world to the brink of nuclear war, intensifying the psychological trauma associated with the atomic age. The profound emotional impact arising from the atomic bombings also had a positive outcome. It catalyzed the peace movement and led to efforts to prevent nuclear war. The horrors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki galvanized individuals and organizations worldwide to advocate for nuclear disarmament. Prominent figures like Albert Einstein and Bertrand Russell became vocal proponents of peace and disarmament. The Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament, CND, in the United Kingdom and similar movements in other countries worked tirelessly to raise awareness about the dangers of nuclear weapons and to press for their elimination. Artistic and literary expressions played a crucial role in conveying the psychological impact of the atomic bombings to a global audience. Works like John Hersey's Hiroshima and Akira Kurosawa's I Live in Fear humanized the experiences of survivors and conveyed the moral and psychological complexities surrounding nuclear warfare. These creative works 
deepened the global understanding of the atomic bomb's consequences. As the world grappled with the psychological impact of the atomic bombings, governments and international organisations sought ways to prevent further use of nuclear weapons. The MPT, established in 1968, aimed to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons and promote disarmament. It created a framework for international cooperation on nuclear issues and encouraged nations to pursue peaceful uses of nuclear energy while committing to nuclear disarmament. The treaty reflected a collective effort to reduce the mental burden of living in a world with nuclear weapons. Throughout the Cold War, the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in arms control negotiations, culminating in agreements such as the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, START. These agreements aimed to limit the number of nuclear weapons each superpower possessed and to reduce the risk of accidental nuclear conflict. While they did not eliminate nuclear weapons entirely, they helped manage the toll of the nuclear age. Today, more than seven decades after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world continues to grapple with the enduring legacy of those events. The Hibakusha, the survivors of the atomic bombings, continue to bear witness to the psychological impact of nuclear warfare. Their stories serve as a reminder of the lasting trauma and the urgent need for disarmament new challenges have emerged in the contemporary nuclear landscape. The spread of nuclear technology and the potential for non-state actors to acquire nuclear weapons have added complexity and uncertainty to the global security environment. The psychological effects of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki have reverberated throughout history shaping the world's perception of nuclear weapons and the consequences of their use. From the immediate trauma experienced by Hibakusha to the global anxiety of the Cold War and the subsequent peace movement, the atomic bombings have left an indelible mark on humanity's collective psyche. While progress has been made in arms control and disarmament efforts, the world continues to grapple with the legacy of living in the shadow of the atomic bomb. It is incumbent upon current and future generations to heed the lessons of history and work towards a world free from the existential threat of nuclear weapons, ensuring that the psychological distress of the atomic age is not passed on to future generations.